Washington. Even though his name is not on the ballot. Republican Gov. Glenn Youngkin is a frontrunner in Virginia's general election Tuesday. Republicans hope to gain full control of state legislature and clear the way for governor to enact his proposals on abortion, education, taxes and other key policy priorities. Democrats are trying to keep control of at least one chamber and possibly flip the other two. Continue serving as a check against Youngkin's agenda. In 2021, Republicans won a narrow 5,248 majority in the House of Representatives and swept all statewide constitutional offices. Watch why the Democratic strategy failed in Virginia and how Youngkin turned the state upside down. The governor is active on the Virginia campaign trail. The Political Action Committee has spent $19 million on contributions to legislative candidates, local party committees and other campaign expenses since his election in 2021. The outcome of Tuesday's election could be interpreted as a referendum on Youngkin himself, as he is likely considering a late entry into the 2024 presidential race. All 40 state Senate seats and 100 state House seats will be on the ballot. But the balance of power will likely tip in Northern Virginia versus Washington. D.C. It will be determined by a handful of competitive districts near Richmond, Central Virginia and in Hampton Roads, Southeastern Virginia. Democrats The state Senate face competitive races in four districts that voted for Democrat Joe Biden for President 2020 but backed Youngkin the following year. In the 24th District which includes Yorktown and Newport News. Incumbent Democratic State Sen. Monty Mason is running for re-election against Republican Danny Diggs, the longtime York County Sheriff. Also in Hampton Roads District, Democrat Clinton Jenkins is facing Republican Emily Brewer for the open seat in 17th District, which borders North Carolina. Farther north in Fredericksburg, Democrat Joel Griffin and Republican Tara Durant are running for the open seat in the 27th District. In Northern Virginia, Democrat Russet Perry and Republican Juan Pablo Segura are facing off in the 31st District, an open seat that covers parts of Loudoun and Fauquier counties. In the outer suburbs of Washington, in the 16th District, just northwest of Richmond, incumbent Republican State Sen. Siobhan Donovan faces a challenge from Democrat Schuyler Van Valkenburg in the district carried by Biden in 2020 and by former Democratic Gov. Terry McAuliffe in his unsuccessful 2021 re-election bid. In the State House, incumbent Republican State Sens. Kim Taylor in Petersburg's 82nd District and Karen Greenhalgh in Virginia Beach's 97th District face strong Democratic challenges. There are competitive races all three open seats 21 Northern Virginia, District 57 Northwest Richmond and 65 Fredericksburg. All five seats are districts that ran for Biden in 2020 and Youngkin 2021. Regardless outcome of election, legislature will see higher turnover than